everybody. Welcome back to .NET MAUI Minutes, a new series where we're going to deep dive into some basic .NET MAUI topics for just a few minutes. I'm Maddie Monacola. I'm on the MAUI team. And today, we're going to look at some of my favorite tips and tricks for working with XAML in Visual Studio. So I'm going to flip into my code. I'm going to F5 or start debugging or click the little play button, um, the file new MAUI app here on my Windows machine. And right off the bat, you get this thing called the in-app toolbar. And you get this when you deploy to Windows. Um, you don't get it on Android and iOS. And I'll show you what you can use instead. And it gives you a bunch of different options here, such as selecting elements and displaying layout adorners. So if I click that layout adorner button, and then I select an element, it shows me where all of the lines and the bounding box basically for that element is. Um, and you can highlight basically over anything in the app, so any string or button or image, whatever it is. Now, this is awesome and all, but sometimes I want to see this in the IDE and not have to flip back and forth between the app and my, um, my Visual Studio. So I'm going to click this little video button that says Show in XAML Live Preview. And what that does is it opens the XAML Live Preview window here. So some tips here, if you don't want to open it that way, you can go to Debug, Windows, XAML Live Preview right here. And then you're going to want to make sure it's pinned so that when you type, it stays open. With XAML Live Preview, I can scroll in um, and I can see actually just the, the actual physical size in pixels that these things are rendered at. So for example, this image is 161.6 by 200. And if I click on the image, it's not an interactionable, interactionable version of the app. It's just a preview. So it takes me to where in the source code it's defined. So you can see this is where that image is defined. This is really helpful if you're working on um, an app with like a lot of custom controls that may not be all defined in the same file, and you're trying to figure out where you need to make edits. Another cool thing about Live Preview is you can add rulers and add them to like how far in the app you want it to go. So if I wanted to try and align everything with, let's say, like my ruler at 306, um, I can put it here and then start to actually edit my code and start, for example, let's change the hello world to be left justified. So start. Um, and it moves it immediately using XAML hot reload. So as I type, I get live feedback as to what I'm doing. Um, and I can try and line it up. Uh, I could go ahead, I could change like the font color, for example, make it purple. Per I can't type, but I can make it purple. Um, all these things are going to get changed as I'm running the app. It can remove my rulers. And then, on top of this, I can actually see how my app is laid out. So if I click on this here, and I open on the left side this live visual tree, and I'm going to pin this again so my text will get really small, but it's OK. I can actually see a visual hierarchy of how my app is laid out to the rendering engine. So Maui app onexe it's a Windows app. Um, it's got an app. It's defined in the app shell, which is how we define navigation. I'm on the main page. In that main page, there's a view that scrolls. And in that scroll view is an image, two labels, and a button. And the label that I'm editing is this one right here, which is highlighted. Now, let's say I wanted to find the label right under that label. I could click on the two little arrows next to it, and it would take me to that label defined in the XAML. And just like the other one, I can go ahead and start editing it um, with XAML Hot Reload and make the font bigger here, too. And super simple. So those are my tools that I like to use when I am editing my XAML in Visual Studio. It really helps me just find my way around a new code base or figure out why something doesn't look right when I think it should look right, and then I can tweak it from there. Um, so the live preview, the live visual tree, and of course, XAML Hot Reload all have great documentation that we'll link in the show notes, and you can check those out. Hope to see you at another .NET MAUI Minutes.